I'm Carrie Chapel, and I'm a teacher in the English language program at Kansas State University, Universitas Negri Kansas, the Avonica Sericat. Okay. Hello, good morning. My name is Stella Franciscan, and I'm the head of Language Center, Tanjung Pran University. Okay. I wish that we did more of this kind of competition where I come from. Uh, it's been a joy to see it today. Um, I don't get to do this very often, and I enjoy it very much. Um, young people who get up and tell a story in their second language are doing something that when I was their age, I think I could not have done. It, it requires a lot of courage. Uh, I admire all of them very much. Okay. Well, nobody is going to perform perfectly in their second language, but they are still very impressive and they communicate very well the meaning. Um, Sometimes when we're having an ordinary conversation, we don't necessarily know um, what a person is going to do when they reach for the limit of their abilities. Um, telling a complicated story with uh, complex ideas in your second language is much, um, much more uh, difficult than, say, uh, giving someone directions to, from one place to another. And yet, uh, when we do testing for oral English uh, at university for people who are going to um, be in the classroom in an all English situation, we do not ask them to tell complex stories like this. We only ask them to do very simple tasks. and. These will be people who are doctoral candidates. Um, a lot of what I see here today, while it isn't perfect, is still much better than we see from our doctoral candidates at university in the US when we ask them to perform tasks in English. So I have to respect uh, what the young people did here today. How did they participate? Um, I think. Um, for a lot of people who um, want to understand how native speakers react to the way that they perform in English, there's a lot of what we call in the US selling yourself short, which means that you do not understand how far you have come toward being able to communicate with native speakers in English. Um, I've had the experience many times of having someone apologize five or six times for my bad English. I'm sorry for my bad English. And finally, I have to just stop the person and say, please stop because I understand everything you say. Please continue. Um, even if you are making an error in grammar or pronunciation, most of the time you are being understood and your meaning is not confused. Um, at that point, the teacher's role is to simply tell you what your mistake was and ask you to practice it. Um, but there is no reason to be afraid of approaching foreigners um, in Pontianak and asking them to uh, talk to you in English for a, a minute or two. Um, if someone seems to be a visitor from another country, especially from a Western country, and you speak to that person in English and they appear confused, as in they don't know what you mean, very likely that person simply speaks a language other than English. Um, if if the, the foreigner doesn't understand what you say in English, um, it isn't your bad English, your English is good, he just speaks German or Dutch or, or French or something else. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. You. You should not be embarrassed or shy to use what you have learned, especially when you have learned it to the point that you can tell a complex narrative in a language that is not your first. Okay. It's very, it's very difficult and I'm impressed when anyone can do it. Okay. Which means that 
you do not understand how far you have come toward being able to communicate with native speakers in English. Um, I've had the experience many times of having someone apologize five or six times for my bad English. I'm sorry for my bad English. And finally, I have to just stop the person and say, please stop, because I understand everything you say. Please continue. Um, even if you are making an error in grammar or pronunciation, most of the time you are being understood and your meaning is not confused. Um, at that point, a teacher's role is to simply tell you what your mistake was and ask you to practice it. Um, but there is no reason to be afraid of approaching foreigners um, in Pontianak and asking them to uh, talk to you in English for a, a minute or two. And if someone seems to be a visitor from another country, especially from a Western country, and you speak to that person in English and they appear confused, as in they don't know what you mean, very likely that person simply speaks a language other than English. Um, if if the, the foreigner doesn't understand what you say in English, um, it isn't your bad English, your English is good, he just speaks German or Dutch or, or French or something else. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. You, you should not be embarrassed or shy to use what you have learned, especially when you have learned it to the point that you can tell a complex narrative in a language that is not your first. Okay. It's very, it's very difficult, and I'm impressed when anyone can do it. Okay.